welcome back to our channel if you're new here i'm charlotte i'm paisley and if you've been around a long time you will know that this one has grown look at you and i'm over six years old now i used to be five you're still five but yeah a lot bigger than our last trip videos um <laughs> if you're new here our channel is primarily disney focused we vlog our disney trips usually disney world Obviously not for a while, same as everyone. We did the Disney Magic at Sea Cruise with half of the UK, and we also love a bit of Disneyland Paris. So we're here today with a trip announcement, which has been so long, hasn't it? Yeah, and as well, these ears are so heavy. If you're a kid and you want to wear them, they're so heavy. <laughs> and you see my cotton candy, it's not real. So it seems <laughs> like it's been so long since we've actually been to a Disney park. As I said, we did the cruise, um, but we're more parks girls, aren't we? We like the rides, right? Yeah, we like the rides. And whilst we love the cruise, we can't wait to be back in a Disney park, which is good, because we're going super soon. In case you didn't get the theme here, we're going on a Christmas trip! We're going to Disneyland Paris! In about five weeks time, we're going back to Disneyland Paris, and we haven't been since March 2019, so I think you- <gasps> March of the 6th. Your birthday's March No, you should send me presents on March of the 6th. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky monkey. It's my birthday. So we do usually go for Paisley's birthday, so last time was March 2019. So it's been a good two and a half years since we've been to Disneyland Paris. And two I'm and so excited. Yeah. That's crazy, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> so it's about a month away, just under, so not long at all until we go it's in early december <laughs> <laughs> so yeah let's get down to the details we're going to disneyland paris in early december it's about four weeks from now and we're going for two nights and three days we're traveling via plane we're going from london heathrow flying with ba purely because we actually had some air miles and actually a voucher to use so we thought why not use it for this we may as well at the time we booked we didn't know when we'd be able to get back to florida when we go to florida we're booked with virgin so it wouldn't be until like the next trip anyway so we've used our voucher we're flying from heathrow we actually have a pre-travel day so we're going up the night before as it's a weekday and we're staying i think at the holiday inn at london heathrow for the evening which is so exciting because i haven't done that since like again 2019 when we were able to properly travel to florida and to disney world that's what we'd always do pre-travel day so very excited for that we're flying with ba as i say it's a very early flight so i think it's actually at like 7 a.m i want to say so we'll get to the parks by mid-morning which is amazing we're there for two nights three days including that day that we actually arrive so we'll have the rest of that day a full day and then another day and we go home that evening so it's gonna be fun we've got a car booked from charles de gaulle to disneyland paris to our hotel and we're actually staying at disney's hotel new york the art of marvel which i'm so crazy excited about literally it looks amazing i stayed there back in around 2010 before it closed before it had its refurbishment before it turned to marvel and it was awesome then like the location is so so good it's right next to the disney village it's just an awesome theme i love like the new york theme so to have it with marvel as well which we're all really big fans of is going to be insane and that's probably within the top three things i'm most excited for with regards to the travel party we are traveling obviously myself daughter paisley my partner rob my mum and her partner sean so there are five of us going on this trip and i've never been to disneyland paris with such a big um travel party so that's going to be fun we have two rooms so a room per family me rob and paisley and then mum and sean we're both at the same hotel um we were originally booked for the sequoia lodge which looks amazing but we um we decided to move to the art of marvel as a, a little christmas treat whilst we're there there are also some friends of mine there so it's going to be so cool to see them and to catch up in a disney park as well and i just can't wait like 
Last time, as I say, we went, Paisley had just turned three, so she was very, very little. She wasn't able to do the bigger rides, like Big Thunder Mountain and Tower of Terror. She might be able to do Crush's Coaster. I think she probably can. I haven't checked that one. I know she can do Big Thunder and Tower of Terror though, which is gonna be amazing. She loves the big rides. Last time we did go to Disney World and when we've been to like Chessington and Legoland and places over the last few years here in the UK, she loves the coaster and a fast ride. She's kind of that age now where she's over the little kids rides and she wants to go on the more thrilling things so that's going to be super fun to all experience together it'll also be rob and i's first time in a disney park together which is good and it's going to be good practice for florida early next year i can't wait i can't wait for characters i can't wait for the Disney music, just to walk down Main Street and see Sleeping Beauty Castle. She looks like she's gonna be fully revealed by the time we're there. There's like, if you don't know already, the castle's been undergoing a paint job, so there's been like a scrim all around it, but they're revealing her more and more each day. So she's gonna be fully exposed soon. I know it's a very weird way to talk about a castle, but get naked. <laughs> We want to see you! Obviously we're going to be there for Christmas, hence the attire and decor today. And there's a lot going on this year at Disneyland Paris for the Christmas season. There's a new parade coming, which looks just magical. There's new food offerings. Obviously all of the decorations that are always there will be there and are beautiful. And there's just something about Disneyland Paris at Christmas time. I think maybe because it's cold and we're here it's in france like it kind of feels a bit more christmasy than disney world i mean the decor at disney world is just insane but because it's hot and different it there's something magical about it being cold and being christmasy in paris wow there's also cool snacks like the people i follow on instagram and the youtube videos i've watched recently of my friends in disneyland paris they've upped their game guys like the snack level was down here last time I went, I'm seeing snacks that are like going up, especially around Halloween time. So if Halloween's anything to go by, the Christmas snacks should be amazing as well. Santa's there, we're gonna see Santa. Pace is very excited about that. She's a great age at the minute for Santa and all these Christmassy things. So I just can't wait. I've been trying to outfit plan. That's obviously more difficult than Disney World. So for Disney World, it's just like, it's gonna be hot, pack shorts, dresses, jumpsuits, you know. For Paris, it's gonna be cold, it could be raining, it could be snowing, it could be foggy, it could be it could be anything, it could even be mild, I just don't know. So we're all taking coats, boots, hats, scarves, gloves, vests, well, a vest for Paisley. I'm probably not gonna wear a vest, I might do. I haven't got thermals or anything, I don't think it should be that cold just yet in early December. I mean, if we were going more like end of December into January, I, I would definitely think about thermals, but I don't think they're necessary just yet. So hopefully we'll be okay. I mean, we're right there in our hotel as well, so we can always dip in for a few hours, come back, warm up, go back out again a little while later. It's all so close, and that's something that I really do love about Disneyland Paris as well. I know that some people were lucky and got to go to Disneyland Paris last summer, 2020, when France did open for a little while, and I know a lot of people have been this summer and over Halloween, as I said, and, and all the time now, it's becoming like the norm again, which is amazing. I'm, I'm just loving seeing everyone's pictures and vlogs and everything. It's so, so cool. But we haven't been in so long and now we're going back and with the time it is, the travel requirements have eased a bit. So this could be wrong for whenever you watch this video in the future, but as of right now, if we're fully vaccinated, which we all are, we don't need a test, we just need the um, French app, our vaccination status, and the paperwork that we need to print off and complete to go into France. And then I believe we have to do a day two test when we get home. Don't quote me on that, because I do need to do a little bit more research, but it does all seem a bit easier than it did kind of back in the summer when there was still a lot of testing and everything going on. Still have to wear a mask at Disneyland Paris, which is um, probably a good thing for safety, obviously, but it's gonna be cold, so it'll keep our noses warm at very least. Paisley doesn't have to wear one because it's age 11 and under at Disneyland Paris, but we've, she's got masks, so I'll be taking them, and if she 
will wear them even for a little while if she'll tolerate them i know it's difficult for children but she is generally quite good for a mask and it'll get her used to when we go to florida the long flight and things like that wearing the mask for an extended period of time so she'll be wearing a mask as and when she can as well a lot of people have said that the safety measures at Disneyland Paris are still very good. So there's sanitizer dotted around the park. I think the social distances markers are decreasing, but there's still plexiglass and things like that. So I feel okay on the safety side of things. I'm not terribly worried about that. That's our rip plans. It's only a short one. You only need like a little burst of Disneyland Paris, I think, but crazy excited really really like just counting down the days now cannot wait what are you most excited about rides which ride top three rides and your ride awesome splash mountain awesome harry potter awesome none of them are at disneyland paris but that's cool that's really cool what about big thunder mountain uh, you remember big thunder you loved it the train ride it's a roller coaster. Uh, Tower of Terror? Yes. I said Tower of Terror. Oh, okay. Ratatouille. Uh, the one with the rat. You do love Remy. Hmm. Okay, let's try. Which three characters are you most excited to see? Ariel. Yeah. Easy. Ariel. Anna. Elsa. Oh, we should see them. Hopefully we'll be seeing a lot of honour and Elsa on like the parade cavalcades and what have you because it's the Christmas season. So. They walk Christmas away. <laughs> hey Sue, do you know any French words? Bonjour. Yeah? Similar like nine. Bonjour Mickey. <laughs> Bonjour Minnie. So thank you guys for watching. Do tune in to the vlogs. Follow us over on Instagram because there's lots of um there'll be photos and all of our planning things as well will be over on Instagram. But thank you for watching. Hi guys. Not hi guys, but thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.